stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their top stock picks of the week. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our top stock pick segment. I'm Jerry Mullen here today with my pick, which is the Mosaic Company, ticker symbol MOS. The company is Zach's number one strong buy and is a leading producer and marketer of phosphate and potash. The company supplies the global agriculture industry, which has been thriving due to the recent increase in grain prices. Because of the bullish ag market, Mosaic's products have seen an increase in demand. This has helped the business, as, and as a result, the stock is hitting highs not seen since 2018. Now, despite the big run in the stock, as long as grain prices remain elevated, investors should expect MLS to grind higher into the end of the year. Okay, before we talk about the charts and where the stock might go, let's talk about the company first and go over some recent earnings. Uh, the Tampa, Florida-based company was founded in 2004 and employs over 12,000 people. The company operates in three segments, phosphates, potash, and mosaic fertilizers. That business accounts for roughly 13% of global annual phosphate production and around 11% of global annual potash production. Mosaic sells its products to wholesale distri distributors, retail chains, farmers, cooperatives, independent retailers, and national accounts. Now, looking at the earnings back in February, Mosaic reported EPS beat of 137%. Revenues also came in above expectations as the company had a big increase in potash sales volumes. Additionally, the company saw improvement in its cost structure shifting potash production, which delivered $300 million in transformation savings in 2020. The quarter impressed analysts who started lifting estimates and price targets. Since earnings, the company had investor data updated their 2025 CapEx, as well as guided their 2021 to 2023 EBITDA. And with that, the company also lifted the dividend 50%. The stock has reacted very well to all that news. And since earn the earnings are released, uh, the stock is up over 10%. Now, looking at some fundamentals, Mosaic is valued at about $13 billion, has a forward P of 14. The company has a Zach Style score of B in value, C in growth, and C in momentum. Mosaic paid a 0.6% dividend, but that will go higher after the latest increase to about 1%. Recent quarter and prospects are helping estimates higher over the last seven days. Next quarter estimates have ticked up 25%. And for all this momentum to be maintained, the agricultural industry has to be strong, which means the higher grain prices, the better. Higher ag commodity prices in corn, soybeans, and wheat will push the demand for crop nutrient price products higher. So as long as we have supply dynamic favorable, keeping grains elevated, we will see demand for potash and fertilizer remain strong. The global demand for agricultural products is expected to maintain its strength as economies reopen after the pandemic. Now let's take a look at the technicals and the charts. Okay, and here's the chart for Mosaic going back to 2018. You can see the highs here before uh, it started to trend lower into 2019 and into the uh, COVID uh, sell-off. Now if you draw a Fibonacci uh, retracement from here to here, we had a 61.8 at about 25. When that breaks, I put targets at 161.8. So this is a big one. This is a macro, what I call a macro fib target, 25 breaks, and we're trending higher. And I'm looking for longer term investors in this 50 to 55 area. Now, if we zoom in on the uh, last year or so, we can see the nice grind higher broke the 200 day, which is the red line and hasn't tested it really since. We tried back in November, but didn't work. And we fell into this beautiful channel, this bullish channel higher. And what we're seeing is the 21 day is offering some momentum support and the 50 day isn't really been tested. It's tried a couple of times, but we're falling into this channel where the short term traders are, are selling the resistance, buying the, the support and it continues to work. So what I'm expecting is the channel to maintain and possibly eventually break out to the upside. So if you're looking for a pullback, rely on this 50 day moving average, longer term pullback, the, ma the market were to sell off big watch that 200 day but i don't think that happens i think we hold and we expand above this channel and we go higher into those longer term targets of about 50 to 55 dollars okay that's it for me and here's ben rains with his pick hello i'm ben rains and today i'm looking at align technologies the company that's behind the invisalign system that's shaken up the traditional orthodontics industry align was founded in 1997 and went public back in 2001 and its clear liner system is really a true alternative to traditional metal braces, and its success has spawned the likes of Candid and Smile Direct Club and many others. Smile Direct Club, however, has underwhelmed Wall Street so far, and the newer companies are more committed to a real online, complete e-commerce approach. Meanwhile, Align works hand-in-hand -hand with orthodontists who digitally scan a patient's teeth in person 
with some of Align's own technology and then work hand in hand with them through the entire process from start to finish. Align has treated nearly 10 million patients and its revenue has climbed by an average of 25% in the past five years. And that's actually weighed down by just 3% growth in 2020. But the company ended the year on a high note with 28% revenue growth in the fourth quarter as it bounced back from coronavirus setbacks. Alliance adjusted 2021 earnings are now projected to surge 75% on 41% higher revenue that would see it pull in $3.5 billion this year, with it then projected to post another 21% higher revenue in 2022, with earnings expected to jump another 23%. Align is currently a Zacks ranked number one strong buy, along with an A grade for momentum in our style score system. The stock has soared 290% in the last year to crush its highly ranked medical dental supplies industry's 70% average. This is now part of a 670% run in the last five years. Luckily, its recent pullback has it trading 15% below its February records. And at 11.2 times forward sales, Align is trading at a 25% discount to its own year-long highs. The tech downturn and its recent sell-off has also pushed it below neutral levels in terms of RSI at around 47, which gives it ample runway to keep on going. Overall, Align operates in an industry that isn't going out of style, and many people might favor an in-person approach to fixing their teeth, since it's far more complex than ordering most other things online. Align has also improved its balance sheet in the last year and saw greater adoption from both adults and teenagers. And that does it for top stop picks. Make sure to check out our latest zax.com slash promo page for a free copy of our home study course, Binding Number One Strong Stocks, by our Zax Executive Vice President, Kevin Matris.